Greetings. This is OTR Ogre Corey. You know, it's tragic, and then you have to ask yourself, is it truly tragic? It's somewhat ironically funny with some cases. You have people out there that are kind of health fitness nuts, and usually it's for self-serving reasons. Usually they want to look good to get ladies, you know, and whatnot. Which, fair enough, that's a fair reason. That's most motivation for men to do anything. Me, myself, I'm a solitude type. I don't really want to deal with a lot of people. I don't hate people. I just don't think they're that great. So I'm kind of content with my own. But I see these people in a society that is addicted to sensation. I'm not saying you should feel nothing, but I'm saying your addiction to sensation will drive what you do. You can't you know, shake that. You will eventually be doing stupid shit. So the same people that will be telling me, you need to lose weight, you'll feel better, you'll be healthier, you'll live longer. You know what? You're, you're right. I do need to lose weight. And um, you're correct. Then the same dipshits that just lectured me about being in shape. Kind of concerned, but, you know, it's, it's kind of trolling, too. These people ride a fucking crotch rocket. Or some, uh, you know, classic-style motorcycle. You know, balls to the walls out there. Now, riding a motorcycle, if you just look at the statistics on it, you're much more likely to die die or become injured sometimes you'll walk away but uh you take this to the next level because it's already a dumb idea and i don't dislike motorcycles i'll get to that in a second but uh yeah, this is already a dumb idea so you should probably you know ride with a helmet but then there's those people like i'm not riding with a helmet i don't like the feeling of a helmet my bandana and my shades is coefficiency that'll protect my egg right so you're dare to be stupid levels there Next level is the people that are like flip-flops, shorts, t you know, button-up Hawaiian shirt, no helmet, obviously, doing fucking 20 to 40 mile an hour wheelies down the frickin' main street. That guy's a guy that when, when that guy biffs it, you, you look at that and you're like, who didn't see that shit coming? But when that guy happens to be a fitness junkie, just the, the sheer irony of it. You know, like, hey, you did all this work to become in great shape. Why aren't you driving a car? And they're like, I, I like the feel of it. It all came back to the feeling, doesn't it? The addiction, the sensation. So, my thing about this whole motorcycle thing is like, yeah, I like motorcycles for utility purposes. I might know of a good mushroom picking spot, berry picking spot, hunting or fishing hole. And it might be down a road, down a dirt road, to a logging road, and then a blocked off logging road you got to go around to get to this piece of paradise. Or just a place I like meditating on a hill. See, I have a utility reason why I'm going to a place. You see that? I'm not just going out there to look cool for people. When someone's out there risking their life basically putting their life on risk for essentially fucking nothing. I have to look at that person as if they're a goddamn retard. Even though I do think there are safe ways you can ride, you know, try to ride during a good time of day, don't ride in certain... Some cities are just not worth it, you know. And then uh, riding groups, have a little group, you know, strength in numbers, also loud pipes. But the idea that I'm supposed to care, like, look twice, save lives. Well, you should look twice anyways. You should probably maybe take it through two or three looks. But the idea that I'm supposed to care more about your life when you ride a two-wheeled death machine, like, you don't give a shit about your life. That's, that's what I've taken from the situation. You've already made this decision. Like someone that's smoking crack. You don't give a shit about your life. But for the thrill, for the high, you're going to fucking do what you, you're gonna do what you feel. So, I don't know. There is something twistedly ironic and hilarious when a health fitness junkie basically biffs it. And you're like, all that hard work, all that working out, just to end up as a fucking, you know, cold piece of meat in a box. You can't, I, I can't help it. I just sit back and I'm like, oh, there's something kind of funny about that when you think about it. You're like, that's horrible. No, what's horrible is the fact that people are so casual with their lives. If you actually give a shit about your life, like you worked hard to get to somewhere, don't take stupid jackass decision risk-taking. 
Like if you work to get yourself to run, maybe you run your own business, you went through college or got a good trade, you've got something going on. You're like, don't do stupid shit. You've already won the game. All you got to do is maintain. And maybe when you get old, that's when you you're like you're 65 to 75. Take up the motorcycle. You know, you're too old then. Yeah, but if you died 65, 75, at least you lived a full, happy life before taking that dirt nap versus that 20, 20 year old, 30 year old, 40 year old, 50 year old who still had a lot of time left and threw it away for a feeling. This is OTR Ogre and Corgi. You like, link, and subscribe. Comedy so choose. Yeah, I know I'm an asshole. <laughs> Anyhow, you have a good day.